purpose of this video is to be able to sign up for a Konugemos account that we will use in class together. The spelling of Konugemos is right here. You'll need to go to konugemos.com to start this process. On that page, you need to choose sign up and then student to be able to create your account. Then you're going to put in your full first name and last name and your username following my instructions when we go over this in class. So again, you need to triple check that your name is accurate because it won't let you edit it afterwards. So first and last, and your username per the instructions in class. This one is just a sample. Then when you scroll down past the username, you'll be able to select your password. I recommend using um, your login that we usually use. And then if I give you a teacher code, that can get inputted here, but again, that is not required. It'll tell you thank you, and then you need to click where it says log in and actually log into your account for these next steps. Once you've logged in with your username and password, this is the page you'll find. Click on join teacher slash class. Now, if you put in a code, you'll already have me as a teacher. But if you don't, if you click on teacher and then don't have a teacher code, click here. You can actually search for our town and school and me as your teacher. Just make sure that you have the correct teacher listed because otherwise I will not see your grades. Once you have that, you click on class and then you choose the period in Spanish course that you are taking with me and then hit update so that I will receive all your information. This is the first page when you log in. Any custom assignments I make you will be found underneath here when we do them. Anytime you need to get back to the screen, just click the frog in the top left corner and voila, you're back to the home screen. Easy peasy. Now the library helps you navigate to things that Konugemos already has, so you can see the Spanish section there. And we have a specific textbook in some classes that Konugemos already has loaded. It's called Realidades and we are in book two for many classes. So you can look at that and get the vocab practice and all that good stuff right there. Now, when we head back up here to the top, if we take a look at my grades, any activities you do when you save them, they'll be viewable here. If they don't show up here, it means it didn't save and you'll need to redo it. What you see there is what I see there for your grades. So that's the proof that you've completed the activities. The little initial at the top helps you get access to my account and the logout screen is available there as well. When in doubt, if you have questions, always make sure to ask about Konugemos because we'll use it frequently. That's a brief overview of Konugemos, how to set up an account, how to make sure to select me as your teacher and choose your class, and how to navigate the page. Again, if you have any questions at any time, make sure to send an email or check in with me. Gracias!